So let's see some other um, remaining gas scatter things. Uh, this is a IHI SPB tank, which is a different type of tank. Uh, then uh, this is a prismatic. You can see so many supportings, web transfer type construction and for light insulation and outside tank. And this is a MOS type tank which is being installed on the ship. And this is on the side is the equatorial ring for the support like we have for the supporting and con connecting the skirt. Then you have this chokes, uh, sorry, this. you have a primary barrier, then you have primary insulation, then you have secondary barrier, then you have a secondary insulation. So, checking gas, you can see these are the waffles. Waffles are for expansion and uh, to allow for the expansion and contraction. Then we need to know that the boil up percentage allowance uh, on practically ideally it should be zero, but practically 0.1 to 0.5 percent uh, is boil off is allowed, but it has to be kept minimum. Then uh, there are re liquidation plant in which, uh, as per charter, the amount of diesel usage is uh, given, how much it is allowed. Then uh, we have some. Type C tanks. So, Technigas membrane, which we saw, the details are given here. It has a primary barrier 1.2 mm SS and corrugated uh, corrugation of waffle for expansion and construction. Insulation laminated wall support sandwich between plywood layers. Inner cold plywood layer forms a secondary barrier and balsa wood is plywood panels and interconnected by PVC wedges. Then this is the type C independent tank cylindrical pressure vessel. So you can see again it's a cylinder with thick wood thickness and you have anti floating chocks and supporting saddle longitudinal section. So you have supporting saddle which from and you have anti rotation here you have most anti-rotation chokes or key. Then we have on some ships uh, having this LNG as a fuel. So this is a container ship and it has a LNG tank and the engine is using LNG as a fuel. So this LNG from here is it's around 10 bar is going and this and it's uh, going into this compressor this is number two compressor high pressure pump so number one is the lng tank number two is the high pressure pump and this high pressure pump converts this 10 bar uh, comp lng into 300 bar lng so it's a compressed lng now and from here it puts into number three vaporizer vaporizer is there uh, it passes it through the seawater and makes it vapor by heating so because we need vapor to for to move the steam turbine to move the gas turbine so that will be used and uh, also there is some boil off always so the boil off will go into this small compressor and then to uh, unit and again it will be used to compress and used as a fuel so there are some new ships which are uh, which you see uh, you will find it's made up of made as per igf code they are dual fuel engine ships in some places like rotterdam or singapore you'll find that this lng bunker barge ships uh, for giving the ships which you need like this ships for lng as a fuel and uh, tanks also 3.5 bar pressure also ha having so type c is mostly for as you can see for pressurized vessel it's very cheap but uh, some lng barges are having also 
So LNG cannot be carried as pressurized because its uh, critical temperature is minus 81. And after that, uh, it will not, uh, you cannot reduce the pressure. If you increase the pressure, still it will not, and minus 81 generally you cannot have. So whatever pressure you put in LNG, it will not convert into liquid basically. So compressed natural gas, which we are carrying, is compressed, but it's not liquid. Then, so this is the fuel vaporizer. It's called MEG, Maggi engine. It's there on some ships, especially LNG ships. And uh, some pressure vessels, last point is, that uh, the pressure vessels may not be having a high level alarm because it's on pressure only. So how you will check the level, no? So high level alarms will not be provided. 